Hello students, in this video let's learn about least common multiple or lowest common multiple by short division method. Find the LCM of 15 and 24. So let's take the given numbers in a single row. See 24, 15. Even you can change the order 15, 24 also can be written. And we are going to find the LCM by short division method. To find the LCM, we always use prime factors only. The first prime factors are given here. 2, 3, 5, 7 and 11. The first prime factor 2. Before going to write the factor 2, just you check the given numbers. Whether is there at least one number which is divisible by 2. The factor which you are going to take, you have to check the given number. Is there at least any one number which is divisible by the by the taken factor? Now, which factor you have taken? 2. So, 24 is a even number. Is it or not? 2 is an even number. So, 24 also is an even number. So, you can take a 2. Now, we are going to divide by 2. So, in 24, how many times? 2, 12 times. 2 12s are 24. Okay, then check the next number also. This 15, will it be divisible by 2? No, 15 cannot be divided by 2. So, copy down as it is. So, the next row we receive 12 and 15. Now, shall I take again 2? Yes, of course, because one of the number is an even number. No, ma'am, I want to take 3 also. Yes, children, you can take. If at least any one number must be there. So, if you, if you want to take 5, yes, of course, because 15, it can be divisible by, it will be divisible by 5. So, here you can take 2 because 12 is there. You can take 3 because 12 and 15 both will be divisible by 3 and 5 also can be taken. But 7 cannot be taken. If you take 7 here, because both the numbers here, the numbers, no, both the numbers are not divisible by 7 as well 11. So, if you are going to take any factor, the numbers, no, which you are getting, that must be divisible by the taken factor. Okay, now you can take 2 or 3 or 5. So, let's take 2 again. So, in 12, how many times 2? 6 times. 6 times. You check once again. 2, 6 are 12. Then check by 15. No. 15 cannot be divided by 2. So copy down as it is. So next row we receive 6 and 15. So again shall we take 2? Of course. Because 6 is an even number. So in 6 how many times? 2? 3 times. So check once again. 2, 3 are 6. Then in 15 how many times? 2? No. 15 cannot be divided by 2. Copy down as it is. Now we receive the next row 3 and 15. Now can you take the 2 again? No. Because 3 and 15 cannot be divided by 2. So the 2 cannot be taken. So let me take 3. 3 also can be taken. 5 also can be taken. Because one of the number is here which is divisible by 5. So now let's take 3, the next prime factor 3, because 3 will be divisible by, I mean the 3 and 15 both can be divisible by the taken factor 3. Okay, in 3 how many times 3? 1 time 3, then in 15, 5 times. So check, if you take the number, you must check all the numbers, whether this number is divisible by 3 or not like that. You have to check then only you should go to the next number. So in 3, 1 time 3. In 15, how many times 3? 5 times. You can check once again. 3 1s are 3. 3 5s are 15. Like that you can check. Then you see children, last row we are receiving 1 and 5. Here you can stop. When you get the prime number, only prime number, the last row which is appearing 1 is a you can leave 1 if you get leave that if you are getting other than 1 like only prime number only prime number here 5 alone but that prime number must be appeared only once 
so we are getting 5 here it is appearing only once then you can stop suppose here instead of 1 if you get one more 5 instead of 1 if you get one more 5 we cannot stop we have to proceed again we have to divide again with the suitable factor remember we can stop when we get only the prime numbers the prime number must be appeared only once ok now we are stopping let's find the product of the prime num prime factors so 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 5 this prime number also must be included that is we are finding the product of the prime factors so 2 2 is 4 4 2 is 8 8 3 is 24 24 5 is 120 so the LCM of 15 and 24 is 120. Likewise LCM of 2, 4 and 5. Now we are going to find the LCM of 3 numbers. So let's write the numbers in single row. See we are writing 2, 4, 5. Now we are going to find the LCM. Let's take the suitable factor. 2 can be taken even 5 also can be taken because one of the number 5 but you cannot take 3 here because no number here which is divisible by 3 so let's take 2 into how many times 2 1 time then in 4 how many times 2 2 times then 5 cannot be divided by 2 just copy down as it is so now you see you can confirm 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4, 5 cannot be done. So you have brought down. So now here you can stop because 1, 2, 5. 2 is a prime number. 5 is a prime number and both are appearing only once. One time only. 2 is appearing one time. 5 is appearing one time. So you can stop here. Suppose here instead of 1, one more 2 comes. Instead of 1, 1 more 2 comes mean we must not stop here. Again, we have to stop dividing by 2. Sorry, we have to start dividing by 2. We have to proceed the div division. So, when do you stop? When you get the prime numbers, only prime numbers which are appearing only once. Okay, now we are going to find the product of prime factors. What are the factors? 2 into 2 into 5 we have to find the product of prime factors 2 into 2 into 5 2 twos are 4 4 fives are 20 let's see one more example lcm of 2 5 8 and 10 so now we are going to find the lcm of four numbers so to find the lcm of four numbers so we have to write all the numbers in single row see 2 5 8 and 10 so again we are checking shall we take the suitable factor here you can take 2 also 5 also because the num i mean numbers are here which is divisible by 2 as well 5 also but 3 cannot be taken 7 cannot be taken so always remember you must take the factors here only prime factors so now again we are taking the prime factor 2 in 2 how many times 2 one time 5 cannot be done so copy down as it is in 8 how many times 2 4 times then in 10 how many times 2 5 times so each number you check whether this 2 can be divisible 5 can be divisible by 2 8 can be divisible by 2 like that each number you check then you proceed the I mean go to the next number so you can confirm once again after receiving the numbers 2 ones are 2 5 cannot be done then 2 fours are 8 why am i telling this step we know very well 2 fours are 8 we will be writing 2 again when we write fastly so 2 if you write 2 here 2 twos are 4 that's why i'm telling you to check 2 ones are 2 5 cannot be done 2 fours are 8 2 fives are 10 then now you see 1, 5, 4, 5 we received. So prime number 5 but it is appearing 2 times and 4 also there we cannot stop here. So let's take shall we take again 2. Yes of course because 4 is there. 
so one uh, copy down as it is five also copy down in four how many times two times then five copy down children now you see carefully here this row we received one five two five five is a prime number two is a prime number five is a prime number but remember the prime number it must be appeared only once so here this five is appearing twice so we must not stop here so we have to divide again so by which factor five because five is appearing two times so let's take the factor five here so one copy down in five how many times five one time then two we cannot because we are dividing by five so two copy down in five how many times five one time now you see the last row children we are receiving leave that one then we are receiving only the prime number two and as well it is appearing only once so you can stop here now we are going to find the product of the prime factors 2 into 2 into 5 into 2 this prime factor also you must include don't forget so now lcm of 2 5 8 and 10 2 into 2 into 5 into 2 2 2 is a 4 4 5 is a 20 22 is a 40 so likewise we can find the numbers see children four numbers are given see the last row how do we stop when do we stop when we get the prime numbers only prime numbers with one time appearance two is appearing one time five is appearing one time seven is appearing one time so you can stop and we have to find the product of prime numbers prime factors two into two into three into two into five into seven so we are getting the solution 840 here likewise the next question also see see when did we stop the last row which is appearing with the prime numbers 2 and 3 and both are appearing only once so we are finding the product of the prime factors 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 2 into 3 when we find the product don't forget to multiply the last row also that prime factors which is appearing last row and this solution 432 so like this we can find the lcm of many numbers by short division method